So this whole idea of 120 hertz on the iPhone 12 Pro has been this ongoing saga. At first it was 100% confirmed and then it was not so 100% confirmed anymore. But then it was 100% confirmed again. And then it became unconfirmed again. Yeah, basically this just keeps on happening and it seems to be an endless cycle. Now why are leakers so unsure about this feature happening? Surely it can't be that hard to put 120 hertz into an iPhone? Well, yes, that's true. 120 hertz on the iPhone is not incredibly hard to do, especially since a lot of Android manufacturers have already implemented this technology into their flagships. But as usual, Apple wants to be the special kid and not only wants to include 120 hertz, but wants to include ProMotion too, and that's where the problem lies. So for context, ProMotion is when the display can variably refresh between 1Hz and 120Hz depending on the content you're viewing on the display. Now for the smart people in the audience, I can see you guys, Tim and John, there you are, okay? You guys are saying, doesn't 120Hz ProMotion display already exist on the iPad? Then why can't Apple just make small iPad and then boom, they got ProMotion 120Hz iPhone, yay! Small issue with that, ProMotion doesn't work on OLED displays which is what the iPhone uses. iPads use LCD. And so for OLED and ProMotion to harmonize and become one, LTPO is needed, which is what they already use on the Apple Watch Series 5. So just throw this LTGF346 technology in the iPhone and then move on to ProMotion, right? <laughs> uh, no, because the small problem with LTPO technology is that it's not available on smartphones yet. In fact, it's only making its debut on the upcoming coming Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. So it seems that Apple's having this internal debate. They either go for 120 hertz all day every day, which will obliterate the battery life, or they wait till ProMotion can work on OLED displays, which at best will only be available on next year's iPhones. And I think this is why there was so much confusion from the leakers community, because Apple themselves haven't decided what they want to do yet. But we have got some new evidence from very, very credible leaker Ice Universe, suggesting that Apple has in fact decided to go 120 hertz all day every day. Now yes, I know that Ice Universe is a Samsung leaker, but here's a little fun fact for you kids. He was the first one to initiate this whole 120 hertz iPhone rumor because back in 2019, he was the one that suggested that Apple might include 120 hertz in a future iPhone. So in my opinion, he does have a bit of credibility behind him. To add to all of this, Apple have also seemingly confirmed that 120 hertz might be happening in iOS 14 beta. Now take this with a grain of salt because this feature actually miraculously disappeared overnight so you can't find this feature anymore in iOS 14 beta but on launch day someone in the accessibility settings found that you could limit the refresh rate on your iPhone. And of course, people thought that was a bit odd to include in, you know, our existing 60 hertz iPhones. So does that mean 120 hertz is actually on the horizon? Uh, I'll still be honest, I'm a bit skeptical. I mean, I joked about this at the beginning, but I bet you that some report will come right now after I finish recording saying that 120 hertz is not happening, it will never happen ever on an iPhone. And as if I planned that, now we have a new leak from Despair analyst Ross Young saying it's definitely not happening so yeah honestly I give up at this point this feature just keeps changing but yeah I guess on with the video but even if that doesn't happen my main issue with this rumor is that it feels like Apple's compromising. If their goal is to bring promotion to the iPhone, they'll take their time and make sure it is done to the best of their abilities. They wouldn't half ass it and let people turn off 120 hertz in the settings. So personally, I wouldn't mind if 120 hertz and ProMotion were pushed till next year if it means that Apple can get it to work like they envisioned. And yes, I know I did just mention the limit refresh rate feature in iOS 14, but honestly, the fact it disappeared could mean that it was just a bug. Though I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it's not gonna be a good look for Timothy when he stands up on stage and asks people to pay over $1,000 for an iPhone with no 120 hertz display and no charger. And on that note, I'm here. Thank you for watching. Oh, that's the word at the end thingy. Put that in the comments below if you made it this far. Like, subscribe, and um, I'll see you peeps.